What's going on guys? Text and Effect back with another test video. This time the test video is in regards to me losing my Fire Stick remote. So if you have a Fire Stick but you lost your remote, I'm going to show you guys how you can use your TV remote to control your Fire Stick. So the first thing first, we need to plug in our Fire Stick. As you can see, my Fire Stick is plugged into the back of the TV. I'm going to plug in the power supply now for that fire stick. So, so the power supply is plugged in and the fire stick is booting up for the first time. There's the fire stick logo. And the bad thing about this fire stick, I just recently changed over my Wi-Fi network. So that's an issue as well. Not only do I have a fire stick that's missing, I have a fire stick with no Wi-Fi settings on it. So I'm going to show you how to do all of those things with your TV remote. Give it a few more seconds to load up. And as you can see, it says home is currently unavailable. A network error has occurred. To check your devices, internet connection, go to settings, network, and follow the instructions. And follow the instructions. If the problem persists, please contact Amazon customer service. Now nah, we're not gonna do all that. So this is a LG television, and this is my LG remote right here. So if I push any of those buttons, as you can see, it's not doing anything for my fire stick but hold on i think we got a cure for that so each tv has a different name for its hdmi ec cec as you can see hitachi's is called hdmi cec aoc is called inlink insignia is called inlink itt t link lg tvs is called simplink Panasonic is called something else. <laughs> Philips is called EasyLink. Samsung is called AnyNet. Sony is Bravio Sync. Toshiba is CE Link. And Vizio is CEC. So different television manufacturers may have a different name. Mine happens to be an LG and it's called SimpLink. So what I'm going to do, this is my LG remote right here. I'm going to go to the main menu and we're going to turn on the set link. So I'm going to go to my menu on the LG remote, which is right there. It should pop up. There we go. Let's back up some. So that's the menu on the LG remote. Then we're gonna go down to settings. All settings. So we're gonna click on all settings. Then we're gonna go down to jet, then we're gonna go down to connections. Then we wanna scroll down to HD MI device settings. We're gonna click on that for the LG television. And as you can see, there's SimpLink HDMI-CEC. Mine is currently off, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that on. Now the SimpLink should control my Fire Stick. If this does not work for you, what I recommend you do is unplug the Fire Stick, then plug it back in. So now that I don't know my simp link is on, I'm gonna exit out of the menu. I'm gonna go back to my fire stick and unplug it, then plug it back in. So I'm gonna unplug it, then I'm gonna plug it back in and let the boot up process start all over. Well, that didn't work. So what I'm going to do is unplug it from the power supply 
and let the Buddha process start over again. So I just unplugged it from the power supply, plugged it back in. There's your Fire TV Stick logo. Give it a few more seconds to load up. My camera shows better in the dark. That's why I'm recording this in low light. And as you can see, it said home is currently not available. Now keep in mind my HDMI CEC is on on my LG TV, so it should control the fire stick. Let me cut some light on here. There's the remote. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, I'm able to control my fire stick. So I'm going to go with the settings. Let's navigate through here. This is my fire TV. I can restore it if I want to, to the factory defaults. I can restart it, put it to sleep. But all I need to do is my network connection. And to get out of this, I'll just hit the back button. There you go. So all I need to do now is set up my networks, connection to this fire stick, and I can use my TV remote to navigate with the Fire Stick. Or I can buy me an Air Mouse. I think the Air Mouse is the way to go, especially if you're having some issues with your Fire Stick remote. Go ahead and get an Air Mouse. And that way you won't need a mouse toggle for some of your applications that you're using. And as you can see, it says Network Setting. So if I hit the OK button on my remote, these are some of the networks. There you have it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. I'll do a similar video for a Chromecast with Google TV in the near future. And don't forget, I have a big I have a big giveaway coming up and I'm going to give some nice prizes such as Fire Sticks, Google products, and I might even throw in a wild card. So stay tuned for that. And until the next time, I'm out of here.